welcome friends today we are here to speak on our problem solving which is known as the to find the kth smallest element in an array kth smallest element okay so many people will think it is a easy problem we can use uh, our dot short function or any shorting algorithm and find the smallest and find the uh, sh shorted array and print the a of kth element right it is easy in that case but if you take in uh, consideration of a time complexity then uh, it is not the optimal solution to find the do with a dot short okay so for finding the shortest element in a um, optimal solution we can use a partition algorithm what does this partition algorithm means partition algorithm means if you have done a quick shot then you may know this if uh, some people here here who may not know quick shot or who have forgot uh, forgotten quick shot so for them i am giving a small revision here what does this partition algorithm do let us consider a unsorted array okay let us consider this unsorted array i have taken any un arbitrary unsorted array and i am taking this as a pivot element okay in some cases you can take this element as a pivot element although it will not give the optimal solution as the pivot element uh, should be a randomized element so that the average time, time complexity uh, gets uh, order of log n order of n log n if we take uh, this or this as a pivot element it may give worst case time complexity at once okay so once you take a randomized or um, i will discuss uh, how to uh, do the how to take the pivot element uh, in a more optimized way when i will discuss a quick shot algorithm okay so let us here consider let us 7 is the pivot element so according to partition algorithm what does this algo does all the elements all the element which are less than 7 will be taken this side like 5 is less than 7 okay then it will check with 8 8 is not less than 7 then it will check it 1 then 8 will be replaced by 1 okay next case 7 is a pivot 5 checked 1 checked 8 checked okay 8 will be here only now it will check for 2 is 2 less than 7 yes then 8 will be replaced by 2 and he and 9 again it will check with 9 i am not writing this now after checking all this uh, what it will do what it will do and uh, now the array pointer is in this okay because this is the last changed right so this will come here and this will come here in the next step what it will do 2 5 1 7 will be replaced with 2 and 2 will be replaced with 7 means their place will be place will get exchanged so partition algorithm does uh, divides our array into two parts where uh, our take our element is taken as a pivot and the element to the left of it all will be in less than the pivot element and element to the right of it all will be greater than the pivot element as you can see here right so let us al write the algorithm and see how does it work here in this for finding the kth smallest element for finding the kth smallest element how does this work how does this algorithm work in this case okay now here i am going to write the algorithm okay uh, while writing the algorithm i will explain you in details so that it will be easy for you this is the function name and this is the type of variable which i am returning right here we will return an integer type of variable now i am passing an argument with arr which is the array the p q and the k okay now if q 
क्यू इक्वल टू इक्वल टू पी एंड इफ पी इक्वल टू इक्वल टू के रिटर्न ए आर आर एफ पी एल्स रिटर्न Now what does this portion does? This is uh, only for one element if one element is present. Now if one element is present, what does this mean? If the array has only one element, let us take an example. Like left arr here is the arr is the array. Okay. an array has only 5 as the element okay now k is given as only 1 means what is the smallest first element okay now here what does this p and q represents here p is the starting address and q is the ending address okay means p in this array suppose in this array p is here and q is here means the start and the end okay or um, p means the start i am writing here start address and q means the end it i don't mean the address which we use the pointer by using pointer i means the p th, means the start it will uh, indicate the starting location and q will indicate the ending location okay so if q equal to equal to p now if you uh, do, uh, do q p equal to equal to q p equal to equal to q means here p is also 1 if p is also 0 and q is also 0 right so if there is only one element then only it is possible that q equal to equal to p so i am checking that if there is only one element means p is equal to 0 and q is equal to 0 now if p equal to equal to k what uh, you can write here k or uh, q also it doesn't matters as p equal to equal to q so if p equal to equal to k means if suppose Um, p's value is uh, here. P's value is one, and k's value we, we have to find the least, right? So k's value is one. So one one means we have to return. Now if I take k's value as two, it will return an error. Why it will return a why it will return not error? It will return nothing. Why? Because there are only one element. How can we find the second largest? Right? So it will return a it will else it will return null means um, there will nothing will get returned now if there is more than one element here comes the partition algorithm as we know partition algorithm returns i integers so i will take r i am not writing full partition algorithm i am just writing partition Uh, when i will discuss about the quick shot i will de describe the partition algorithm in details okay uh, so partition and as we know partition algorithm takes order of n times right those who have done quick shot it will be easier for them to understand this now if r equal to equal to k right if the element we are searching for and the partition the partition is same then it will return the value right here it will get the pivot element if the pivot element is equal to the kth element right so it will return the value okay else if r is less than k now if we take r is less than k what it will do what does the r is less than k it means r is less than k means that if the uh, the partition the uh, number which is returned by the partition algorithm is less than the value of the uh, kth element which we need to find then what it will do it will return 
smallest element means what does this um, sorry the kth smallest it will return uh, it, what it will return it will return kth smallest means it will go on a recursion algorithm okay Here it is going through a recursion algorithm. See, I have written it k smallest. We have passed a r, we have plus r plus one, we have plus k, and we have plus q and we have plus k. Okay. Why I am doing r plus one? Why I am doing here r plus one? Because suppose let us take here. In this example, uh, if r means I am taking suppose k equal to means. Uh, I am taking I am taking the third element. No, uh, here R is less than right. So I am taking the fourth element. Suppose I am uh, suppose I am taking the fifth element. If k is equal to five, now here what it will be R R is four right, and four is equal to equal to five. No, it's not. Then it is greater than. Then why uh, where I will again run? I I don't need to I do not need to evaluate the left hand side. The shorter side because the um, the element which I have to find is greater than this, right? So I will go from r plus one to the ending. What a, what end will q is represent the end element, right? So I am so I have what I, this I have done here. Now if it is also not the case, means it's the opposite case. Means uh, suppose r is three. What I have taken the um, the first example which I have taken. In that case, I have to go from r minus one. I have to means here the qth element or the last element will be r minus one, and the first element will be p, right? Kth smallest. I am passing a array. Here the first element is p. Last element is r minus one. Sorry. Are not r plus one, r minus one, and k. Right. So it is easy. It is easy. I think you can understand it. So this is the thing. Now, in this case, what in this line, what is the time complexity? It is t of q minus r. And in this case, what is the time complexity? It is t of r minus p. Right. So, what is the total time complexity? What is the av total average time complexity which we get? So, the total average time complexity is order of one when n equal to one. Because when n equal to one, we don't need any recursion. We will directly return the value, right? So, order of one when n equal to one. Order of n plus t q minus r or Order of n plus t r minus p, right? This is when n greater than one. I think you can understand this easy. It is. How does this? Uh, how? Where did it came from? We are applying a partition algorithm. When n not equal to one, we are applying partition algorithm. So it is taking order of n time by default, and it depends on where n um, where that k value is. If k is greater than um, r, then it will take q minus r, and if k is less than r, then it will take r minus um, p. Right. So now let's see the best case time complexity here. So the best case time complexity here is. you know this is a partition algorithm time complexity those who have done the partition algorithm this is the recursion for partition algorithm and the best case time complexity is order of n okay for uh, for partition and what is the space required for this algorithm the space required is order of log n why order of log n because we are using a stack here okay 
and now let us discuss what is the worst case time complexity worst case time complexity is order of n square okay and or here it is also order of log n sorry here it is order of n why order of n here also we are using a stack but what is the difference between this here uh, the stack is a balanced one and here it is unbalanced one okay <clears throat> i think it's easy here so let us discuss once again what i have done i have written the code previously so i will show you the written code and you will understand it because it is written in one page so let us see what i have done here the problem is the kth smallest element using partition algorithm right so what we are doing here we are finding the kth smallest element right we are passing here arr p q and k what does p means p means as you can see here p means the starting element q represents the ending and k represents the the kth smallest right as the name suggests here is the kth smallest right so k represent it <clears throat> if q is equal to equal to p if q equal to equal to p means if q and p the value is zero when does it uh, when it can occur when both uh, there is only one element right when there is only one element if q equal to equal to p if p uh, if p equal to equal to k p equal to equal to q means here what is the p is value p is value is 1 also and q is value is 1 also now i suppose k is equal to 1 it is given so if p equal to equal to k right means then it will return the p k of p right means there are only one there is only one element now if i take k equal to 2 then it is not possible because there is only one element and how can i find the second largest right how can i find the second largest it is not possible so it will return a null value right as i have written here it is only for the first element one element when it is uh, only when it, there is only one element now here what does uh, in this else means if there is more than one element if there is more than one element we are going through a partition algorithm okay uh partition algorithm what we need to pass the array p means the first element and q means the last last position not the element the first position and the last position if r equal to equal to q if r equal to equal to k means if the r's value here the one, the integer and the position that the um, partition algorithm will return it is equal to equal to k then it will return error of k okay it's easy if it is less than if r is less than k means k is a greater value so we have to run the recursion we have to run a recursion from r plus 1th element right from the next element so we are running a recursion from the next element as in this example sub, um, where i have this is a first time partition algorithm so it will i am not justify but i am explaining for here and here are the rth element is this if r is greater than k okay let's take k is equal to 5 r is greater than k right so in the loop will run from r plus 1 to q means the last element right so here is it is the same r plus 1 to q and when it is less the maximum element will be r minus 1 and the first element will be p okay so i think you have understood this it's a easy problem uh next time i will teach this uh, partition tricks this algorithm means the k smallest using heap okay thank you and if you have any doubt please write on the comment section and please show your support by subscribing your the channel and please like and share the video